on Navaria. The Turians have given us top-level access to their combat data. Their ships are already moving in to help the Alliance fleet. You actually secured a Krogan-Turian alliance. It's one thing to hear about Commander Shepard. It's another to see her in action. Parts of the chunk are reminding me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but, you know, the sand and everything. You think that cure they dispersed could do anything to us? We're not gonna start growing scales or anything, right? Maybe now that we have the Krogan on board, we can go back to fighting the Reapers. I was looking at the specs on that Reaper you took out on Tachunka. That was one of the small ones? Don't get me wrong, it's still dead, but damn. There was nothing small about it. That jack is a mean SOB, but kind of hot. If you... Hey. Hey. You're saying they survived into this cycle? Yes. We called them Collectors. They fought for the Reapers. For a long time, no one knew they were Prothean. And when did you realize? Shepard had no choice but to kill the ones she encountered. They were all indoctrinated, and had been for a long time. I'm sorry. I am grateful. It was an act of mercy. Yes. I suppose it was. Commander. You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Then. And a Krogan who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. 
Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished, the weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion, or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what, exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos, the natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. We can't afford any weak links in this war. They drain our resources. They can become a resource of their own. How? If the Reapers are busy conquering the weak, they are not watching you. So use them as a distraction. All strategies must be considered, and few are too extreme. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this and we'll both be set free. You have killed a Reaper. I would like to have seen it. No matter. There will be more. Plenty more. Yes. A difficult fight remains. In your position, I would have offered the Salarian leader a deal. Oh? You only had to make the Krogan believe you cured their disease. They are too stupid to know the difference. The Salarians would have been grateful and rewarded you. Both would have served you at the same time. Morality and friendship do not matter now. Your allies are simply resources to use against the Reapers. If the Krogan seek retribution for the past, do not waste time on sterility plagues. Destroy them where they stand. In the meantime, they are useful cannon fodder against the Reapers. Do not care what others think. Do what you must. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before Edie. Me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole in The Normandy is a ship. Edie is a collection of processing hardware contained in that ship. Those are two separate things. Doesn't the existence of the Reapers contradict that? So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. Have you seen our newest crew member? You mean the biggest story in 50,000 years that I can in no way talk about? Say, yeah, I've seen him. Just wondering.
any sign of life? The Reaper destroyed by the Thresher Maw appears to be completely inert, Doctor. We would need to send in teams to be sure. Out of the question. Tell the Krogan to stay away. Prothean. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. I mean... But a Prothean, Shepard. There's so much he could tell us. My turn. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? Uh, I give up. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turian gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? A friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. How you gotta respect the classics? How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask the Asari for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterward. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You're, you're shitting me! The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. Hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. <sighs> Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. I'm sorry about Morden. He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. I'm glad it was just your elbow. I always thought he was crazy. Useful. But crazy. Then he gives up his own life. <laughs> to save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not. But he was one of ours. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. To be honest, I did it so the Krogan would help your people. And believe me, it won't be forgotten. Our fleets will be there for Earth. I'll make sure of it. I know you will. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Imagine the carnage if some young, hot-headed Krogan took over. That could happen. I know. It's a chance we have to take, but I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have looked for a way out. I'd be lying if I said I didn't consider it. Anyone would have second thoughts about the Krogan. They'd just better remember you didn't act on it and return the favor.
Commander, Admiral Hackett is available in the war room on VidCom. Thank you.